Hey guys, it's Victoria, and today I'm starting something new on this channel called Tutorial Tuesdays, and it's going to be exactly that. Every Tuesday I'm going to be posting a new tutorial video, and they're going to range in topics, anything from Glowforge to business to design, and I'd love to hear any ideas that you guys have. If there's something that you'd like to see featured as a tutorial, please leave it below in a comment. And these videos are going to be in addition to my regular videos, so they're not going to be replacing anything. So now I'm going to get started on the first tutorial, and I hope you like it. Alright, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to take an image and vectorize it so it can then be engraved on your Glowforge. I'm going to be using free apps to do this, and at the end I'm just going to be using Adobe Illustrator to touch it up a little bit. For materials, I'm going to be using 1 8 inch thick maple hardwood that I got from Inventables.com. First, I just need to select an image that I'm going to use, and I'm just on my Instagram page here. And I'm going to take this cute picture of my girl Ellie. And I'm just going to take a screenshot of this photo. See, there is a lot of stuff going on behind Ellie, and we don't want this stuff to be engraved. So we need to remove the background. To remove that background, we're going to go to remove.bg. And this is a website that actually will remove your background for free. All you have to do is upload your image. So I'm going to grab that screenshot that I just took and click open. And I'm just going to click on download. So as you can see here, the background is removed from the image. So I'm going to go to File, and then Save. Okay, so now we want to go to this website called vectorization.org. We're going to open up that photo that we just removed the background of, and then this website is going to take that photo and vectorize it. So for output format, I'm going to leave SVG selected, and then click Start. Alright, so now that it's done, I'm just going to click on le.svg to download it. So now I'm just going to do some drawing with the pen tool to outline her face a little bit better. And you can do this in any vector program. I'm doing it in Adobe Illustrator. And here I'm just lowering the opacity of my original photo and I'm putting it over my drawing just so I can trace her face exactly. details to her face that that image tracer missed. So I just want to engrave Ellie's face in the shape of a heart. So I don't need the full drawing, so what I'm going to do is just remove part of it. And first I'm just going to create my heart shape. So now I just need to make a copy of this heart and move it over. Alright, so now I just need to remove the part of the drawing that's not going to be engraved inside of the heart. So we need to create a fill for the heart, so I'm going to add a red fill to that. And then now I'm going to select the drawing and the heart. And over here in my Pathfinder, I'm going to click on Divide. And now that will allow me to remove this part of the drawing. So with my Direct Select tool selected, I'm going to click on the parts that I want to delete and then delete them. Okay, so now I'm actually going to delete this red heart and then replace it with the outline one down here. So with my Direct Select tool, I'm going to click on the parts I want to delete and delete them. Now I'm just putting the heart around her. Right now I'm saving this file as an SVG and then uploading it to the Glowforge app for printing. I'm going to file and then save as and then I'm clicking save and for decimal places I'm leaving three and then I'm leaving all this stuff selected here and then hitting OK. Alright so now I'm going to open up the Glowforge app and to do that I just go to app.glowforge.com and then I'm going to click on new design, then the blue plus sign, 
and then upload. And then I'm just gonna click on that file we just created and click open. Now I'm just clicking and then dragging this onto my piece of wood right here. And this is an image of what I currently have in the machine. It is 1 8 inch thick maple hardwood and it has masking on it. And then for my material, I'm gonna click on unknown and then I'm gonna click on medium maple hardwood. And then for my layers, this top one is gonna be the engrave layer. And I'm gonna use my settings that I have previously figured out that I like. And this setting is a speed of 700, precision power of 71, and the number of passes is one. And then our bottom layer here is the heart that's gonna be cut out. So I'm just gonna leave this with cut and then proof grade cut. Now it's ready to print, so I'm gonna go up here to the top right and click print. 